I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and welcome to our podcast for the health of it. Remember to subscribe to our podcasts, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Are you suffering needlessly? Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito. First half of the show, we talked about cold versus flu versus COVID and signs and symptoms. And we talked about vitamin D. Uh, and, and the studies are out, very clear, recent studies just out like a couple of weeks ago, showing that the higher the levels of vitamin D in people, the lower the risk of getting the disease. It's not the cure-all. It's not the end-all be-all. But it's one thing that you have control over. Um, so we live stream these shows, by the way, and if you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, um, at Dr. Joe Esposito. In fact, you better do that, by the way. This is your homework assignment. If you're listening or watching this show, you need to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, at Dr. Joe Esposito. It's, it's your uh, uh, cover charge for the shows. Um, it's free. Do it. It's done. You'll never hear from me again. But you need to do that because we need to become a, an influencer and we need your help. Uh, but somebody asked, what about a protocol? My protocol, supplement protocol, like the starter kit, if you would, for supplements, would be minimum supplements everybody should be taking is Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. They taste great. Um, I mix them together, coconut milk, almond milk, make it a smoothie, whip it up, drink it. It's, I can't imagine a day without them. That's your minimum supplements I think everybody should be taking. Uh, winter time, I'd also add vitamin D. I do 5,000 international units of vitamin D. It's five drops of Dr. Joe's uh, vitamin D and it has vitamin K2 in it. We talked about it earlier in the show. This show, by the way, is on our website, drjoe.com. You could listen to it if you want to. Um, uh, you could type in today's date probably be the best thing. Um, but you could also put in COVID. It should be under COVID. It'll probably be listed under testosterone, which is my next topic as well. Uh, glutathione is really important for the immune system and for liver function. Um, and then uh, if, if you can do it, I'd also add omega-3 fatty acids. So super green essential source, vitamin D and glutathione is the starter kit. Um, if you need energy, you need circulation, then I'd add nitric oxide, uh, B-complex. Uh, somebody sent me an email earlier today and I said, Dr. Joe, I work weird hours. I'm just exhausted all the time. What can I do? And I said, well, so for energy, glutathione, uh, I'm sorry, not glutathione, nitric oxide, B-complex, adrenal support, super greens, and essential source, and you'll be buzzing. So, uh, but again, super green essential source, vitamin D and glutathione is a minimum and then omega-3 fatty acids if you want to go a little further. So. All right, let's talk about testosterone because we, 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 I think we beat the COVID uh, topic uh, down enough here. Um, testosterone is, is the most notorious of all hormones, I think. It conjures up thoughts of you know, muscle heads and, and it, these, uh, these guys working out with ripped muscles everywhere. But it, testosterone does fuel sex drive and muscle mass, but it also regulates mood. It regulates bone strength. And when men's level falls below normal, uh, there are several things you might want to consider doing. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Slow drop in testosterone, normal part of aging. It's going to happen. I was just talking to a medical director who uh, works in our office before this, and he said your secretory glands, the glands that produce and secrete things like hormones, your pituitary gland, your adrenal glands, your testicles, your ovaries, they're going to get weaker as you get older. It's part of the aging process. So uh, men go through something called andropause or male menopause, and for men, it doesn't cause any significant problems or symptoms. Uh, you may notice a decline in muscle mass, depression, less interest in sex, uh, that happens as the testosterone starts to drop. The good news is I'm going to tell you some things we can do to boost the testosterone naturally. And for women, too, we need testosterone. Low testosterone can, be, uh, can cause visible damage in men. It could cause a shrinkage of the testicles, uh, larger breasts, thinner muscles, loss of body hair, especially off the chest, the legs. So this could be signs of lower testosterone. And in fact, it was funny. Uh, in the summer, I was visiting my mom, and I had shorts on. And uh, she said, you still got hairy legs. And I said... Am I not supposed to? And she says, well, your father and his brothers, uh, they started losing hair in their legs even in their 40s. And so it's just a sign of testosterone starting to drop. Low testosterone can affect your bones. You think of osteoporosis or brittle bone disease as a woman's disease, but it happens in men too. And in our office, we do a lot of pain management, of course, chiropractic, nutrition. I'm board certified in orthopedics, pain management, chiropractic, and double board certified in nutrition. So we see a lot of patients with a lot of different conditions. And we'll take x-rays on a lot of our patients, and many times we can actually see the beginnings of the osteoporosis. A bone has to lose about 33%, 33 to 39% of its calcium before it even shows up on an x-ray. So you can scan it with other things, but if you start to see thinning bone on an x-ray, you've got a lot of bone loss going on. And that could be due to testosterone levels dropping off. 
low testosterone uh, doesn't always interfere. It depends how low it gets with a man's sex drive, but it can make it more difficult for the brain and the body to kind of communicate and actually start to respond. And that becomes an issue. That's a sign of testosterone, uh, low testosterone. Some men may notice a drop in libido. Uh, others may lose interest in sex completely. Low testosterone can also make it tougher for a man to function sexually. And so if you listen to any radio station, there seems to be commercials constantly about, oh, we've got this, this wave and this thing and this treatment. And all of that does help. I mean, all of them work. My concern, though, is when they talk about response on the first visit. Usually they're going to inject you with something. And you can inject PRP into the man's sex organ, organs, and that can start to regenerate natural healing. You can use lasers. You can use uh, soft wave therapy. That What it does basically is it traumatizes the, 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 the organ, and it can cause a little damage to the muscles and the blood vessels, and then the body sends in healing tissue to grow new, healing t- new, new muscle. It's just like working out. If I'm going to lift a weight, I'm going to tear up and damage the muscle, and then it's going to regenerate. I lift it again. It's going to tear up and regenerate. Same thing works with sex organs for men. You can dam it doesn't hurt, but slight damage to the body, and then it sends in new uh, vascularity and, uh, and neurogenesis. It actually can grow new nerves and new blood vessels. So when you add something like PRP to that, PRP is your own cells. We take the cells out of your body, uh, blood, spin it down, and take out the platelets. We can re-inject it into joints. If you have arthritis, it can stimulate new growth. It's not going to make it like it's 16 again, but it works wonders. If you're in early stages of arthritis, it works wonders in most cases. Uh, for sexual regeneration, works wonders in most cases. And then you could add other things to it as well uh, to see some changes. And it, it, in most cases, it works great. We also want to make sure the testosterone is getting up there. So what we do in our office, if a man is having issues or a woman, uh, we'll take a blood sample of them and see. So let's assume I take your blood levels and your testosterone levels are low. Well, we might recommend supplements. We might recommend nitric oxide, adrenal support. Sometimes I recommend fenugreek, which will raise testosterone levels. You want to get people on boron. Boron uh, helps free up the testosterone and make it usable. It's called free testosterone. Uh, Many times we may even recommend short-term bioidentical hormones where you can actually inject yourself with testosterone, very low levels, and amazing how quickly it works. I did it with myself. My testosterone was normal. So I said, let me try it. So I did some bioidentical hormones. I did five shots of the lowest dose, almost the lowest dose available. And my testosterone got too high. I had actually stopped doing it. So those are some things that you might want to consider uh, for testosterone and things you can do to increase the levels. But nitric oxide, adrenal support is there. I'm working on a supplement now, folks, uh, with my chemists uh, that's going to have things like... uh, um, uh, 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 taurine, which will give you energy. It'll, we'll, we'll get some boron in there. Uh, we'll get some fenugreek and uh, a supplement that will actually be uh, not only stimulate or uh, 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 increase the sex drive, but actually increase the testosterone level. So I'm working on that. I'm formulating it in my head. Um, and I've experimented and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, testosterone can affect mood. Some men have subtle problems with mood changes, poor concentration, less energies. Uh, These symptoms can easily be caused by other health problems like anemia, depression, sleep problems, chronic illness, pinched nerves, pain. Uh, We've done several shows, I think, on depression. And if you go to our website, drjoe.com, we have over uh, 1,500 hours of podcast, audio and video. So type in what you're looking for. Chances are we've done an audio, video, or an article on it. And if you still have questions, you can always send a question through the website, drjoe.com. I'm more than happy to answer your questions for you. Um, and all the supplements we talk about, by the way, too, are on the website, drjoe.com. Uh, the fenugreek and boron is not yet. I'm still formulating that. Um, but all the other ones are on the website and we'll ship it to you. Or you can come by our offices. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We would love to be your doctors. We can do neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain. We're, we're a team of chiropractors and medical doctors, doctor. Um, and we're really good at pain management. In fact, patients come from all over the world to come see us. I get referrals from doctors. I had a patient yesterday and his uh, therapist sent him, young kid, teenager, very depressed. But the digestive system is directly related to your anxiety and your depression and your mood levels. Because if you're not breaking down your food properly, you're not able to absorb the nutrients and that can affect uh, how the brain functions. And so the uh, therapist will send patients in and say, listen, uh, maybe not necessarily your classic chiropractic case, but what can we do to get his digestive system working? He had acid reflux, terrible, which tells me his stomach was pushed up against the diaphragm. So we adjusted, we pulled his stomach down away from the diaphragm. We're going to put together a nutrition protocol for him and supplements. And in most cases, when it comes to emotional issues, we resolve the issue. It's really kind of cool. 
So um, again, we get referrals from all over the world and from doctors, hospitals, insurance companies, military, we get them everywhere because we try to get to the cause of the problem and not just treat the symptoms. And that's the key. And all my doctors are handpicked by me, they're trained by me, and they're my personal doctors. So if I don't trust my doctors taking care of me, I don't trust them taking care of you. Okay, so feel safe in knowing that you're in good, in my opinion, you're in some of the best hands in the world. So is it chiropractic? Is it medical? Is it a hormone issue? Is it a PRP issue? Um, we're going to put together a protocol specifically for you. Uh, so what causes low testosterone? Type 2 diabetes can do it. Liver issues, obesity. If you're fat, and I used to be fat, so I can say the F word. If you're fat, fat produces estrogen. Estrogen causes you to lay down fat, which produces estrogen, which causes you to lay down fat. So you're kind of caught in this cycle. And so I used to be fat, I understand it, but if you're obese, the estrogen, estrogen blocks up the receptor sites where testosterone is absorbed. So testosterone is gonna be absorbed and then activate the cells. Testo estrogen will just block up and you won't be able to absorb the testosterone. And so even if your testosterone levels are normal, if your estrogen levels are also high, that can be causing problems. So I know it gets a little complicated when it comes to hormone therapy, but we wanna do everything we can to balance it out. Good diet, that's a no-brainer. No, no, no animal proteins because a lot of them have estrogens in them. Even if they're organic, they still have estrogens in them. Um, so I would say stay away from animal proteins. Uh, eat more fruits and vegetables. Uh, things that are high in nitrates like beets, arugula, greens how, will convert into nitric oxide, which will open up your blood vessels. Uh, make sure you're feeding your adrenal glands, not giving them stressors like coffees and teas and chocolates and cigarettes and drugs. Um, pituitary gland problems can, can issue, can cause testosterone issues, uh, injury to the testicles. I used to play hockey and football. And I remember one time getting hit with a slap shot and I was not prepared. And let me tell you, it hurts. Okay. But things like that could actually affect function later on in life too. Uh, tumors can do it. Radiation therapy, chemotherapy, steroids can do it. So there's a lot of things that are attacking testosterone on a daily basis. The good news is we can test for it. Is it testosterone? Is your testosterone not converting into free testosterone? Is the testosterone converting into estradiol, which is an estrogen, which blocks up the testosterone receptor sites? And we try to do everything we can to boost up that testosterone level. And in most cases, it works great. It may take some time though. Don't think you're gonna come in and walk out going, hey, I'm 16 again. It's gonna take a little time, but we wanna get that testosterone, not just for sex drive and muscles. Your heart's a muscle, your colon's a muscle, your blood vessels are muscles. It helps bone strength, it helps mood swings. It's so important that you get that testosterone level normalized and we do everything we can to help you get there. Uh, if you have erectile dysfunction, low sex drive, low sperm count, loss of height, loss of body hair, loss of muscle size, right away I start thinking, let's do a testosterone test and see where we are. If you have an illness uh, known to lower testosterone, uh, we, we also wanna know about that. So when you come to us, and this is important too, if you come in as a patient, tell us what's going on. Because if we don't know what's going on, we don't know what to do about it. So patients say, oh, I forgot to tell you I had back surgery. Oh, I forgot to tell you I got hit by a car when I was 10 years old. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Don't forget to tell us. Tell us so that we know better how to better put together a protocol for you. Because even if it's a neck pain or back pain, it's a chiropractic case, we need to know that you might've had surgery. We need to know that you have a condition like Ehlers-Danlos syndrome where the ligaments are weak. We need to know, of course, we would probably know this, if you have Down syndrome, because with Down syndromes, the ALR ligament many times in the neck is weak and there's different ways we adjust people with Down syndrome because there, there may be weakness of the ligaments. There may not be. So again, more information we have, the better we are. Um, you don't have to tell us that at you know, age six, you scratched your knee, that's okay, that's, that's normal. So, but we can do it, and it's, again, we're talking in this segment of the show on testosterone. Um, Testosterone uh, measured with a blood test done early in the morning is best when the levels are the highest. Normal levels range from 300 to 1,000. But again, it's not just the testosterone. We want to measure your free testosterone. We want to measure your estradiol. Is the estradiol too high? And that's blocking the receptor sites. So it's a lot more than, hey, I got my testosterone tested and I'm good. In fact, several years ago, uh, somebody came to me and they were starting a company. They were going to give testosterone shots. And they wanted me to endorse them on the radio. So I went to their clinic and they drew my blood. And they said, oh, you got low testosterone. You would be a classic candidate for this. And so I took my information. I went home. I did research like I do every day. And I realized they were comparing me to somebody 25 years younger than me. And I said, well, my testosterone is going to be lower just high because I'm older. And I went back to them. I said, well, you're using a, a, a standard here that doesn't make sense. And they said, well, that's the standard that we use. But it doesn't make sense. 
So when I compared myself to where I should be, I was a high end of normal. And I said, so that's not, that's kind of deceptive advertising. If I'm, you know, Joe Public, I look at it and I go, oh, okay, well, let's, I guess I'm low. I guess I need testosterone. It wasn't true. So anyway, they went out of business and that's just another story. But once again, you got to look, when you look at blood tests, you got to understand a lot of parameters. When we look at pain management, you know, we have, of course, every day patients come in our offices, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches, numbness, tingling, uh, leg weakness, swollen feet, uh, acid reflux. We look at it, and I remember taking my, when I was studying to be an orthopedist, my, my teacher, Rick Ackerman, he says, if you don't know it exists, you can't diagnose it. And he was great because he'd put up test questions. We'd put up x-rays and say, what's wrong with this? And we'd see a fracture in the bone. We'd say, it's a fracture right there, Dr. Rick. There's the problem right there. He said, you're absolutely wrong. The fracture is stable and did not cause the pain. Look down here, and there's like a little tumor or a little blood clot. And he said, that's the thing that's causing the problem. So you can't just go for the obvious. You got to dig a little deeper. And that's what we do in our offices. So if you have an issue, if you have neck pain or back pain, or you want to get your blood work done, or you want to talk about PRP for arthritis or hair growth or non-surgical facials uh, or erectile dysfunction, women, leaky bladder. How many women have leaky bladder? Raise your hands. A ton of you do. And I know this because you don't talk about it in social circles, but you talk about it when you come in our office. We can actually do PRP uh, for leaky bladder as well. And women that have low sex drive or can't uh, enjoy sex, we can actually do that as well. And so, again, no guarantees or promises, but these are alternative therapies that people don't even know exist. And that's what I want to let you know, that these alternative therapies are there for you, and you're safe when you come to us. We don't, we don't talk to, about your cases to anyone. Don't worry about it. So if you do want to make an appointment, you can do it right online, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. The initial chiropractic visit was normally $375, $375. Exam, x-rays, consultation, first adjustment, and then the second visit going over your x-rays and the nutritional evaluation. Normally $375, we've reduced that to $199. We do accept insurance for treatment after that. So we're more than happy to file your insurance for you. Medicare we take. And there's a new thing out, which I'm very excited to talk about, that if you're at the VA, if a VA doctor refers you to our clinic, the VA insurance, which is called Optum now, uh, should cover you. Okay, so if you got to get a referral from your VA doctor to us. And in most cases, the insurance will start to cover that now. And that just I just found out about that yesterday, as a matter of fact. So that's big news. So if you are a VA patient, you can always talk to your VA doctor, see if they think we would benefit. We are in network is what I'm, what I'm telling you. So, so uh, if you want to make an appointment, drjoe.com. You can do it right online. Uh, we have offices, again, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We even have Saturday hours in our Marietta office. So uh, we want to be your doctors. We want to help get you well and keep you well. Uh, nutrition, chiropractic, pain, we're there for you. So we're talking about testosterone. Um, we talked about uh, testosterone converting into estrogen, then estrogen blocking up the testosterone receptor sites. There's an enzyme in your body called aromatase. And aromatase converts testosterone into estrogen. I, I don't want to get too heavy into this because I don't want to confuse you there. Uh, there are medicines we can give you, and they give this a lot, lot of times with women if they have uh, 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 cancer that's sensitive to, to um, estrogen. They want to lower the estrogen levels. And so they'll give them aromatase inhibitors. Uh, grapeseed extract is also a good aromatase inhibitor. And diendol methane. Diendol methane is a component that's found in cruciferous vegetables, things like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbages. Diendol methane acts as an aromatase inhibitor, preventing testosterone from converting into estrogen. I know it's a lot of blah, blah, blah. We have a supplement on our website, drjoe.com, called Estrogen Regulator. And it's diendol methane. And so in cases like this, we may put somebody on an estrogen regulator. I do not recommend you take diendol methane uh, or any estrogen blockers or aromatase inhibitors if you're perimenopausal or postmenopausal. You want to talk to your uh, endocrinologist or doctor about that uh, because we don't want to lower your estrogen too low. That's one of the issues. So anyway, diendol methane, that's why Brussels sprouts and cabbages and, and the, the cruciferous vegetables are really good. Uh, why are they call cruciferous? Absolutely useless information. When the flower forms on the plant, it's in the shape of a crucifix. And that's why they call cruciferous. Useless information, I thought I'd throw it out there for you. So uh, risk of testosterone therapies, you may make too many red blood cells, sleep apnea, you can't sleep. Uh, it can enlarge your prostate. Uh, that's an issue. If you have prostate cancer, you might want to be careful about that. And in some cases, it can actually increase your acne risks, which is pretty rare, but it can happen too. Um, the risks and benefits of taking it for many years, still not sure. But what we do in our office with testosterone, like I said, we can measure it. We may recommend hormone replacement therapy. We may recommend supplements. Uh, we may recommend aromatase inhibitors, depending on what the cause is and why the estrogen and testosterone are imbalanced. If you're overweight, 
we got to get you to lose weight because that's producing estrogen. And I can give you all the chemicals and drugs and supplements in the world, but we got to work on that. We have a real good show on our website, drjoe.com, and it's on weight loss. And so if you want to tune into that, um, and it, we go into in depth how the brain works when it comes to why we're overweight. It's really a brain issue. It's not a digestive, it's not a stomach issue. It's a brain issue. And we talk about how uh, things that get us fat can stimulate the nucleus acubens in your brain. And nucleus acubens releases dopamine and dopamine gets you high. You're getting high from it is all it is. And, and you can't, you're an addict. So we talk very, uh, very openly about that. We have in our office, we have a plan. It's called the 21-Day Weight Loss Protocol. It's on the website, drjoe.com. And what it does, it's supplements and you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. And my goal with this protocol is for 21 days to reset your brain. I want your brain to stop craving these junk foods. And if we can do that, then in most cases, we get some real good results. Um, so that may be something you might want to consider uh, as well as a jumpstart protocol uh, to get things working. Um, and again, we got to be careful. Um, men who shouldn't take testosterone, uh, if you have prostate or breast cancer, uh, if you have poorly controlled heart disease, untreated sleep apnea, too many red blood cells, clotting disorders, all of these can be problems uh, that a lot of people have. And so that's why we try to find out, you got to tell us what you have so we can go ahead and deal with that. Uh, but supplement wise, uh, I can't imagine anyone not taking supplements every day. Supplements to me are just part of my dietary plan. I wake up, I take super greens and essential source, some coconut milk, I have a little jar, I shake it up and I drink it. I uh, always start my day with that. Then in the winter, of course, uh, if, uh, I'm always going to take the vitamin D. I take omega-3 fatty acids for brain function. Uh, I take nitric oxide for circulation. I take B-complex. If I eat a cooked meal, I always take digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes help break down your food. As you get older, your enzyme levels drop. Again, things don't work like they used to as you get older, but we can fight that. We have a, it, it, the whole protocol is called anti-aging. So chiropractic is great because it puts the bones back in place, opens up the nerve supply, takes the stress off the discs so they don't wear out as quickly as they usually do. Then we do the nutritional protocol. And we do the supplements, the super greens, the essential source, the nitric oxide. Uh, maybe we need um, estrogen regulator. We also have something called DHEA. It's men's hormone and women's hormone supplements. DHEA converts into testosterone. So if you're under stress, we talked about this the other day, if you're under stress, your body produces a lot of cortisol, okay? Your body produces pregnenolone. If you're under stress, that pregnenolone becomes cortisol. If you're not under stress, that pregnenolone becomes DHEA and the DHEA becomes sex hormones. Testosterone is one of them. So if you're under stress, you're never getting to that point where the pregnenolone becomes DHEA and it just keeps converting over into cortisol. So we can give you a DHEA supplement, which kind of overrides that, kind of sneaks in underneath the cortisol, and then that helps raise the testosterone levels and hormone levels as well. Balance them. I shouldn't say raise, but balance them. So there's a lot of things we can do with supplements that are really cool that work the way your body would work. Now, if you need medication, absolutely. If you're in severe pain, our doctor may give you an injection. He may ablate or burn a nerve to cover up that pain. So there's a lot of different protocols we can utilize with you. So if you're serious about wanting to get well, if you'd like to make an appointment, go to our website, drjoe, drjoe.com. Uh, you can book it right online. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, or West Cobb. You can call us if you'd rather talk to somebody to book it. Uh, we accept most insurances, car accidents, sports injuries. If you're ever in a car accident, if the car was damaged, you were damaged 100% of the time. So you do want to consider your health. And people come to us and usually many times they're their last resort. And they say, Dr. Joe, I'll do whatever you say. And I'll say, well, what I say is you got to get the diet right, you got to get the, the, the nervous system right, and you got to get your digestive system right. And when we're able to do that, the body is able to get healthy. So that's our goal. So if you want to make an appointment, please do. We do accept Medicare. We do all the billing for you. Uh, car accidents, again, come see us as quickly as possible. What the insurance companies are doing now is you're in a car accident. If it's more than two weeks out that you started seeking treatment, they're probably going to deny your claim. They're going to say you weren't hurt, even though you were hurt. They're going to lie about it. So if you want to come see us, the initial visit is normally $375. We've reduced that to $199. If you want to set up an appointment with our medical doctor, make sure you tell the staff when you do that to set that up. But we want to be your doctors. We want to get you well and keep you well. Again, the website, if you have any questions, send them to me through the website, drjoe.com. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening to For the Health Fit. Remember to subscribe to this podcast, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. You can also listen to and call into my radio show live Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 Eastern Time on WSBRadio.com and on a WSB Radio app.